three or four? Four. This is a class four this laser. Four. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to do more in the same area. So obviously the area, however large I'm working on, I can get coverage pretty quick. So okay, when getting hot. getting hot. So I'll continue doing this. I'll be using the laser. I'll be cooling it down, and then when I get usually to about you know a kilojoule, kilojoule and a half, so a thousand to fifteen hundred joules, I will then use our topical uh, uh, cream that has the uh, uh, anti-inflammatory plus the lidocaine in it, and I will literally get into the fascia, and I'll start massaging and trying to do some manual therapy. This works really nicely with the Achilles tendon, and I'm using some force in here. So I'm doing this therapy. I'm not having my nurses do it. I'm doing it myself. And I typically book about a half hour with the patient. So I've already been through with most of these patients taping, strappings, orthotics, maybe an injection. A lot of patients don't want injections. They don't want steroids. So we are opting for this. How much do you charge for this? I typically charge $200 for a session, but I've been doing this uh, since, since I first started about that, I'm going to be, I think, now that I'm getting results and I know when it's working or not, I'm going to start raising my rates because it's working and now I'm getting the referrals and it's getting back to the physios and getting back to the family physios. The laser is getting more uh, uh, talk and so I think that people value the time and you're getting these patients in that are failing the other therapies. How many treatments are you doing on average? Two, three, four? Two to three. Yeah. Two to three. Again, when they're coming back for the second session, they're doing the second session because the first one has given them that 25 to 50 percent relief. Are you using any combination of? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So how, how's this for chronic versus acute? What's the what's the? Again, this is mainly mainly chronic. Okay. I'm using this mainly for the chronic. So you're not you're not using a combination. I know there's um I think his name's. Uh, Kenny in Vancouver, uh, one of the physios there, is doing a little bit of a shockwave mixed with the laser. I don't do shockwave, I send those to Scott. Okay. So what, what do you consider failed or, or stopped? How long, what's the distance, time? Sorry? Treatment time where you'll say we're stopped Two weeks. or failed. What do you mean no, stopped no, or failed, what? The patient's been treated for how long before you say they're stuck? Well, every patient's different, right? Depending on how acute, how chronic they've been, what have we been doing for them? So patient comes with plantar fascia, it's what's the first thing I do typically taping them, right? Works well, orthotic, not, doesn't work well. Step number two, offering them typically an injection, right? Physical therapy, stretching, ch checking out their, their other uh, uh, possible uh, reasons that they might have a fasciitis. Uh, and if that isn't working, they don't want injection, they failed that, or they don't, they want to do that, then I'm going on to doing laser. It's, it's one, it's second or third therapy that I'm using right now. I'm always trying to treat mechanics. Okay? And so you can actually feel, you feel that. If you put your hand on there, you will feel that heat. Amir, do you have the, um, do you have the, uh... Very, very accurate infra thermal imaging camera that connects to your phone. This is uh, the best uh, company on the market, FLIR. They actually invented this uh, 20 years ago. Anyway, so you can actually see how it glows. You can even measure the temperature, if you like, of that spot. You see it glows. Unbelievable. And it will remain like that for a few minutes. It's a bigger cut. Yeah. <laughs> so you can show it to your patient, actually. You can actually prove it yeah, yeah. to the patient. Well, I think they probably know, though. But, 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 no, but what's interesting is, you, do you feel heat or pain in your foot right now? Um, well, I got the cold. Okay, the cold. So before that, were you feeling any heat? Oh, yeah, I was feeling heat. Right now, you're feeling heat? No. Or as soon as I took the, as soon as I took the wand off and I turned it off? As soon as you took the wand off, you did stop. So it's been more than a minute since I've done it. Yeah. Yet that off. measurement is showing inside there yeah. the heat that is that is being that has been provided from the laser. Oh. Right? Yeah. Okay. You know, this to me, and I'm not saying this for any effect except for the fact that this is the truth. This has been game changing in the way that I practice. For, for these two problems specifically. Um, I've also been using it on post-operative scar tissue, and I'm doing that for the patient, obviously, as part of their surgical procedure, if they need that done. Um, I've done it on some even post-operative uh, swelling and reduction in motion and found some improvement. Again, stuff like that, you're, you're post-operative. You don't know if it's gonna hit or miss. Okay, so we've just gotten up to barely you know, 800 joules here, it's very sensitive for you. 
but I'm not using the topical as well. So when I'm using the topical with the lidocaine, with the uh, uh, diclofenac in there, it does numb it up and allows